More fair than revered, sharks have long gotten a bad rap as the apex predator of the sea. But researchers have found that tens to hundreds of millions are killed each year. Shark fins are worth big money, begging the need for conservation. And that's exactly the thinking behind the Ministry of Agriculture and Marine Resources' decision to team up with its international partners to host a two-day Sharks and CITES symposium here in the capital. Marine conservation has actually long been discussed, considering the Bahamas has one of the most impressive national park systems and values sharks as an important part of the ecosystem. Here's Marine Resources Minister Michael Pintard. To be aware, we're signing on to the 2020 challenge. We made a commitment to ensure that 20% of our marine environment would be set aside um, by 2020. And of course, we are well on our way, having um, reached at least the halfway mark. And we are in the process of engaging in further discussions with cabinet colleagues to lay out the additional areas that have been identified. The symposium comes on the heels of a 21-year-old U.S. woman being attacked and killed by a shark in waters near Rose Island. This was followed by another attack, fortunately not fatal. The minister assuring that much is being done to enforce and make law what's necessary to protect marine environment as well as human life. We are looking at a number of important measures that we believe will pay dividend. One, we are examining with a view of dramatically reducing, and I believe we will get to for the completely banning chumming in the Indian force. We have a very serious concern about the increased feeding of sharks, particularly in residential areas, on the periphery of restaurants that seem to attract um, customers. That to us is posing a problem given where it is occurring. Uh, in addition, we believe it is important that fishers who are cleaning fish uh, discontinue uh, discarding the uh, waste portion of the fish in waters in close proximity, especially to where persons are swimming. Mr. Pindard says the ministry will move decisively and definitively to address these issues. The two-day symposium is being held at the Island House. That wraps up this segment of our news. Stay with us for a check on sports.